Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Today we celebrate a great event. We have a Churchill cigar. We have the Devil's Harvest IPA. And today we are celebrating the fact that my Twitter, the Twitter of my candidacy for the Alabama GOP primary, my Twitter following has now passed the weakest candidate, Arnold Mooney. Arnold Mooney got $300. Thousand dollars, and if I was somebody who gave money to Arnold Mooney's campaign, I would be asking the question: I gave you three hundred effing thousand dollars, and you cannot even beat a guy in his garage with a smartphone for three hundred thousand dollars. Whoever donated to that campaign threw their money away. Hang on, I gotta clip this cigar. They threw their money away! And today, we celebrate the weakness. Come on, you can't even strike the match. Of Arnold Mooney. Arnold Mooney, you are a weakling. You need to drop out of the race. With $300,000, you cannot even get a Twitter following that beats a guy in his garage with a smartphone. It's a good day to Oh my gosh. I also got these trolls on the bridge issue. More the bridge. Everybody's obsessed with the Mobile Bay Bridge. I got the trolls who came in. They watched my previous videos where I talk about this bridge. And the trolls come in and they say, what's wrong with you? You don't even want a bridge? What are you going to do when you need to use the bridge? And my response is, if I need to use the bridge in Mobile Bay, I will pay the toll. Wolfpack, NWO, for life. For life. So the trolls don't understand that one of the best ways, one of the best ways to pay for infrastructure is a tax by use policy. So the people who need to cross that bridge should pay that toll. They shouldn't make people like me and you, everybody else in rural Alabama, they shouldn't redistribute our gold to the urbanites in Mobile to pay for their bridge crossing. They should pay for it as they need it. All right. Let me just do one last final drink to the failed candidacy of Arnold Mooney. Drop out of the race, bro. You know you can't beat Dr. Beckman and